Um, yeah, three four seven. I love you. Oh, From the one, four, Xfinity three. Mobile text line. How about asking Bob why he drafted Wiseman in the first place when we could all see that he didn't fit into the Steve Kerr system? I think he answered that. He did. I just don't think you heard it. <laughs> wow. Let me tell you. Let me translate it for you. The two things that happened. All right. Golden State Warriors went 15 and 50. Then they had a draft. They're getting ready to draft whoever. They said they're going to draft the best available player. And on the day of the draft, Clay Thompson gets hurt again. They found out the morning of the draft oh, man. that Clay Thompson was going to miss the entire following season. Essentially, and what Bob ended up saying was, well, we kind of knew we weren't going to win it that year. So now he said, so we just took the best available player, which you're going to do anyway. Might he be fibbing a little about that? Maybe. But the reason, one of the reasons they drafted Wiseman, and I heard it loud and clear today, was after Clay got hurt, they realized, well, we're not going to win it next year anyway because we're not going to have Clay. Mm. So if it takes a year, so what, kind of? That's why I don't think, that's why I don't think they ever expected Wiseman in year one. Take a listen, Goo. Oh, man. You know, we'll see. I, I don't know. I think that when we drafted Wiseman, we were with the worst record in the league. And I had no sense of, I don't think anybody did, that our what our team would be after that. Um, well, we, don't forget, I, Clay got hurt on draft yeah. day of Wiseman. Yeah, yeah, right. So, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, so, yeah, that's another thing, realizing that he's out for the year. And realizing that that probably wasn't going to be a championship team we had going forward the following year. And so, look, take the best player. That's who we thought was the best player. Um, we didn't, I, I don't think anybody was raising their hand and saying, we can't do this because we're so deep and good that we're going to be winning championships and we got to get a guy that can help right now. I think it was more about we just had the worst record in the league and let's get the best player. And then that following season, we lost in the play in. And so, is that a team that's necessarily close to a championship that loses in the play in the year before? I mean, most of the time, not. And these are just thoughts. They're not. It's not that you can you can you can decide what you or what anybody should have done. But anyways, we took the best players, and um, not with an idea that these are guys are going to carry us to the promised land. Because no matter who we drafted um, in that at that time, um, after we had guest traded for Wiggins. Uh, you look at the roster and you go, okay, Steph, Clay coming back, Wiggins, Draymond, Looney, and Poole was kind of coming around. So that's six guys that are pretty good, and you say, okay, what rookie, young or old, is going to come in and get 30 minutes or get 25 minutes um, with that team? And so you, then you, you know, maybe if there was a guy that, and maybe there was, but it's hard to predict who that would have been. And to Bob's credit, though, Stanley, they got it wrong because the best available player was LaMelo Ball. Well, obviously Edwards. But when they went, it was LaMelo Ball. And if you look now, and it's easy. I'm not being Monday morning quarterback. I get it. And you kept saying it. We were doing it remote, pandemic. I, Goo, would take the best player. Now, how do you know who the best player is? Because LaMelo didn't ball in college. He was playing with grown-ass men like Luca. But look now. I think he could still make the case. That it was that we, Wiseman? No, that it was Halliburton. Oh, okay. But everybody thought he was eh. closer to his ceiling than anybody else. But that dude's ne- a playmaker, man. I hated on uh, him. I'm done. All right, 888 It's also the Xfinity Mobile text line. Love to get Warrior fans in here. Uh, comment if they if they want to on, on what Bob said. But, but and I, I want to play off this this, this text. 510. As a lifelong Warrior fan of 30 plus years, I just don't get the new way some Warrior fans think that we will win a championship every single year. It just doesn't happen like that, and it's okay to not to win it some years. Okay, that's when people say I'm so negative about the Warriors winning it. You'd never hear that. That that is part of the reason that I'm skeptical about the Warriors. Because I've been watching the NBA. For a long time, 
And what they're trying to do right here and right now is virtually unprecedented. Like, what they're trying to accomplish, you could make a case has never been done. Okay, what's, what's never been done, Steiny? Two levels, a micro level and a macro level. Let's go to the micro level first. The micro level, level of unprecedented is they're now 29 and 29. How many 29 and 29 teams have gone on to win a title? I don't know, but I guarantee you it's two or less, three or less. So I know the Houston Rockets were the sixth seed and won it. I do know that. I don't know how many wins Boston they got. Boston was bad I, last year and got to the finals. Well, they were bad for 41 okay. games, right. 50%. Not, we're 70. getting up to 75 yeah. now yeah. With, with 60. <laughs> but anyway, so they're, they're going to have to win this thing probably – as a as a high seed, seven seed maybe, that's really hard. All right, so where they're at right now to the championship is very difficult. That's just what history has shown. 29, 29 teams rarely go that's on to win it all. In. Fair. Okay, that's just one thing. So, so it's going to be hard for them to win it this year. The other thing they're trying to do is the macro. They want a title goo in 14. All right? Out of nowhere. That's 10 years ago. Mm. 10 years ago, they won their first title. They're, they're trying to win a fifth title in the 10th year of this run with the exact same core that started it. Do you realize how hard that is to do? It's incredible. Like, I guess we could look at the Spurs, and they had 10 uh, years but, between yeah. two. But then Kawhi came. And and yeah. Parker and like it ain't this. If the Golden State Warriors win a title this year, you could make a case that it's the most unlikely title in the history of the game, outside of a team that came out of nowhere, like maybe Houston or the '75 Warriors. But what I'm saying is, if the Warriors win it this year, I'll say that it's it's, it's the greatest ten year run. Of all time, okay. it's better than the Lakers. Right. I don't care if the Lakers won yeah. six. I don't care if the I don't care if the Bulls won six in eight because this is this is more ridiculous in a way. Even the Bulls they went from Rodman or Harris Grant to Rodman. You know what I mean? But the top three players are still the top three players ten years later. I just have tremendous respect for how hard that is. So. Everything you said is spot on. But with how you just, you, 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 that was perfect. The way you set it up, micro, macro. Shouldn't you already be feeling that way about last year's title? No, it's different. Because they were, again, they were 41 and 13. But before they, real so, quick. So, so the micro, they were fun at 41 micro, and 13, they came out of nowhere. That That's what I'm they, saying. They didn't, though. They hmm. didn't. They didn't. People didn't expect them to win, right, but they nobody. didn't come out of nowhere because they had the same core. Like, they had the same core. But coming they off a year that they lost in the playing game. This is so much. That's Don't you get it? That's the micro. They didn't have to deal with this last year. Oh, they were a okay, three just, seed. Right, right, they the started 41-13. Right. and 13. Like, they they didn't play that long into I got you. But, like, you're asking them to win it now at 29 and 29. Like, how many times has that happened? Not a lot. How many times has a three seed won at all? Probably a lot more. Um, here's the other thing, uh, guy. Uh, Clickso, Clickso two twelve brought up something interesting uh, on Twitter. I know I'm kind of rambling here, but I'm looking for I'm looking for uh, positives here. Clickso two one two said Curry Green and Thompson only played eleven minutes together last year, and we won the title. If they get in. They win. You like that? Yeah, I love that. Okay. Again, that's the premise of my bet. Again, it's vastly different. And the reason it's different is because we hadn't seen those guys play together all year. Right. They played together, and they came back together, and they won. Yeah. We've seen that threesome this year. They're 13-11. and 11. 
They're not like that's that's kind of my point is the three man court has been playing together this year. Yeah. They they they've played together. But and they haven't okay. been able to do it. Well, let me tell you how I feel They've, about that. So that's like I you but can look at that. They ways. haven't been able to do uh get get off to a good record. My thing is those guys together have not said, Okay, this is it. This is our ninth life. We don't show up here, we're bounced, we're done. The finality. The games that they played, there was always tomorrow. There was always another regular season game. I'm banking on, okay, Steph's back. This is it. We know we haven't been our best selves, the best version of ourselves. This, Michael Jackson, this is it, Steiny. And I can't wait to see that. And can you remember the last time outside of Toronto, the Warriors lost a series in the West to a Western Conference team? It was the Clippers the year before the 14 and 15 when they came out of nowhere. And they lost to the Clippers in game seven. It's been that long since the Western Conference team and coach have defeated Steve Kerr and this core in a series. Like, the I Warriors know I'm have, hanging on the third. The but, Warriors have never gone to the postseason as essentially a 500 team. Hey, well, I, I got to go mute on that because you got me. Dave in San Francisco wants to talk about the Warrior young guys. Hey, Dave, how you doing, man? What do you got, buddy? I'm well. Hey, uh, Mr. Steinman. Hey, Mr. Johnson. What's going on? Hey. Um, stay on topic, but shift it a bit. Uh, I'm not really following, you know, everything going on with Wiseman and the trades and whatnot. However, I did see a uh, headline today saying that the Warriors failed their, their young players. And I wanted to remind anyone who wants to listen to this, and even who cares, that there's a substantial and considerable amount of responsibility that falls on the younger players as well. I was having trouble hearing him. He said but, there was a headline saying the Warriors failed the young players. Remember, we have kicked that around. Well, you can say that. And Bottom guess line what? is it didn't work. Well, they failed the they failed the veterans too. That's what happened when that's what happens when you go halfway. Okay, you failed the veterans yeah. and you failed the young kids. So, I, I should ask Bob. Damn. Stani, I'm looking at you, and I mean what I'm about to say. Because, you know, I just get irritated at the notion. It's not personal with Iguodala. I just hate that he symbolizes a team in despair that needs a spark, and he's nowhere to be found. But I do think he's being forgotten or lost in, when it's go time, what he can contribute. Because if he can't, and it is, ends up being what he is now, then that was an error. Because you could have had somebody in his jersey that could be helping you. I think so one, I'm hoping he he's going to, hey, I'll come to save the day. Like that, that's, that. That's preposterous. Or help. I'm here to help. He's played three, like. that. It, Bob, go ahead, but. When are we going to say we can't say it's a mistake yet if it's like, hey, OG, take your time, but when we're about to go, we need you. Here I am to save the day. Like, the, people are forgetting. Yeah, he, they're right. That's right. They're forgetting. He's at, he's, because he hasn't done oh, anything I'm, in years, Goo. Years. Uh, I'll go. Okay, here. This is uh, 510. Steiny, I agree with everything you just said. But do you agree that this is one of the only 500 teams that has a puncher's chance? Sure. I'll give you a puncher's chance, 510. That's why I always say, I don't think they're going to win it. Could they? Well, of course they can. Mm. I, I would never strip them of that opportunity, but I don't see it, Bob. That's all. Um, and 29 and, and, and 29 is not it. Let me tell you, the people that still think they can do, the, the, hey, it's red alert. I like, this is bad. And the Clippers, what? I text the thread. You got to give me credit when I get predictions right. I said 135 burger coming. That's hard. <laughs> that's that's what I, they I, I give, give up the on the road. <laughs> but I did it with the Clippers I, at like no, 78. I'll, I'll wait but the, that's pretty good. That's hard. Uh, that's pretty good. I was waiting on having to give you some love, John. Nobody came. Uh, like, what? I guess, like, for me, it's less about the team than about that percentage of fans that 
I just feel like there's a percentage, there's a percentage of fans. I don't know how how big it is that I don't know. They don't appreciate what they're watching. Uh, no, that's go they, ahead. Like you speaking now. They, 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 we're in unprecedented basketball history right now. Mm. Like. You know what? You know why I don't think they're going to do it? Because I don't think I've ever seen any team like this ever do it. Who's had their core 10 years apart? I get it. You're probably, look, when, when Jabbar get to the Lakers, when the first, second, first, last. Yeah, I, but, man, especially because they haven't really added to their core other than Wiggins in terms of a, a big boy. Yeah. You know, when people, you always say, meet me halfway. Can Warrior fans meet me halfway and at least acknowledge that what you're asking this team and this franchise to do is historic? It's going to be almost one of a kind if they pull this off. Uh, nope. Ahead. It's not. Because I'll tell you what, if they do it, to hear some fans, they it won't even be that big of an accomplishment. Well, then if you know what I mean. Yeah, they're foolish. Like, but I got to anyway, say something. There you go. If we're going to, here I go. And I'm not trying to break this down on to, 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 to individuality, but LeBron James to me has one of the greatest feats that I it took a long time for me to appreciate. Eight straight trips to the NBA Finals. Okay? So what you're talking about is Steph Curry doing this thing over 10 years. But I feel like that equals what we call him, transcendent. Once in a lifetime, uh, revolutionizing like that's what gods do. That's what goats do. So maybe Warrior fans Jordan are, never did it. No, he did not. Bird never did no, it. No, he did not. But LeBron that's just did the LeBron even do that it. We're talking about because so I want Steph's a couple series okay. of a hey, Denver nice story yada yada. Uh, Mike <laughs> Brown and Sack, De'Aaron Fox, yike. Uh, Chris Paul, yeah, yeah. You can go through it all now but, because uh, yeah. it's probably not going to happen. Right. But if he life. does, I, I'm telling you, man, what you just said, Steph could get a mulligan and they could lose first round, and I will still be floored in how this thing has jumped off over the last nine years. Let's go to Angry Black. Angry Blacks in uh -oh. San Leandro. What's up, Angry? What's going on, you two? Uh, Guru got that sweater with the emotional sleeve again because. Oh. <laughs> how, how 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 can you believe that Curry, Draymond, Clay, and maybe even Wiggins, with the type of pedigree that they have, with the type of blood that's running okay. through their veins, that they're cool being twenty nine and twenty nine, and then could just flip the switch and say, "Okay, guys, let's go win these." They're hating every game that they lose, and as part of the, they don't realize what you're seeing. I got you. I'm ninety percent with you. Tiny, you got a 6'3 guard, a little man, okay, in the last 10 years. You got a 6'8 big man, Draymond, who doesn't score. He's not on the, the offense. Ah, man, I, and I had hey, a question well, for him, too. He was well, great. Well, go ahead, I because he agrees with me 90%. I was going to ask answer. him Thanks, the thank you question I asked, you asked me, but this can't be your answer. What do you mean? What is the difference this year than last year outside through this. of time. I, wanna, I don't want to go through this, because if you're I, telling I've, me, I've you're given right. you like nine re, nine things that are different. Right. So what do you, no. I've answered your question well, a million well, times. Let's condense it down to who's available. We're only talking about two players that are not on this team. So that, that hey, I know how you process that. I process it different. But this guy to call and say they're, they're not happy with this. Nobody's well, that's happy, point. but that's it's not. Point. It's and They're it goes not back to Bob's it, but analogy. They can't do anything with Until it. we see the boxer knocked out, you can't call and say okay. you're correct. I know. Now he, well, they're wobbling. Oh, the land. Hey, but until we see but it, the idea you can't take you the victory think, lap. Like, well, the personnel is essentially the same. So, like, no, and uh, I wouldn't say. You're saying, hey, goo, they got one, they got more miles on the on the thread. I get that. But man, we are robbing Why? them Why? of the infusion. Let me ask you a question. Of, hey, what time is it? It's question. game one of the first round of the playoffs. Let's go. Why is it so hard to go back to back? The mental and the physical Thank wear you. and tear. Thank you. Playing into June, 
than having to do it again yeah, the next right. year. I, I, so, I, again, this is what I mean about unprecedented. Like, you're asking a team that whose core is all 32, 33 or older. You're, you're not asking a, a team in their prime. You're asking a team that is older to do it. Right. Like, there's sometimes all the basketball pedigree in the world gets beat yeah, you're, by the physical okay. part of I, it. I got you. So, and that's going to show itself if it hasn't already. Because I'm not done saying, I'm not ready to say, oh, they, they don't got the juice. They don't got the, av-. you know, everything is zapped. I get where you're going. And for the people that feel like you, it, it looks like you're right. But the thing and the beauty of the season is we still got some time. 888-957-9570 is the number. That is also the Xfinity Mobile text line. It's the all-star break. The Warriors are 29 and 29. Are you an optimist or are you a pessimist? 